The state government has confirmed it's withdrawn some services from the Lake Tyres Aboriginal community in East Gippsland because of a picket line which is preventing an administrator from entering. The protest is in its ninth day. The people of Lake Tyres are demanding the right to vote for their own council. It's a former mission town of just 200 people, but the Lake Tyres community is embroiled in an unprecedented standoff with the government. A picket of the road into town is preventing a government-appointed administrator who has wide-ranging powers and financial control from entering. They've effectively taken back control of their land. The downside is that many government services have been withdrawn. They're not confident about returning until uh, the uh, ordinary and lawful operation of the trust is resumed. But that ordinary operation won't include any form of self-government. We want to work with them around those issues, but do that in the context of the good governance of the Lake Ties Aboriginal Trust. Any time people have had their democratic and human rights suspended for an extended period of time, we have to question whether that's been done appropriately. It appears that by denying a proper council for the past six years, Victoria's government may have been breaching state, federal and international law. If a public authority has made an unlawful decision, then people can seek remedy through the courts. We look to observe the aspirations of all those laws and all those charters and we want to implement them and see that they are met, but we also have to do that with a sense of practical application. The ABC understands the Lake Tyres community has already sought legal advice on taking the government to court. Meanwhile, they've agreed to allow government officials in for a meeting on their demands for a vote. Jeff Waters, ABC News.